what's going on everyone <clears throat> I'm back here with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add passes slash cards to passbook uh, in iOS 8 uh, on the iPhone 6 plus so now this video is for demonstrational purposes only and the cards and or passes that I will be adding are not real uh, they are, like I said, for demonstrational purposes only and should not be used uh, in an actual store. So please do not actually try to use one of these cards in a store to purchase something because it will not work. So just keep that in mind uh, when doing this. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So let me go ahead and unlock the phone real quick. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is uh, go into Safari and type in a web this website called PassSource.com. And essentially what this website, let me go ahead and type it in here. Essentially what this website will do is allow you to add fake passes slash cards to Passbook. Uh, so you can just essentially try out Passbook and see what it'll look like with cards in it. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, you can um, once you're on the website, you hit create. Or you could uh, join their website uh, by creating an account. But I don't really uh, recommend doing that because it's not really necessary. But anyway, uh, from this page, uh, you have a pretty wide range of different cards that you could add. Uh, so, let's see, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a Starbucks card, for example, so let's tap on that. And then, from this screen, uh, you can pretty much adjust the information that will show up on the card. So, you can adjust the barcode number, uh, for, to whatever numbers you would like, uh, same thing with card number. Uh, then you can adjust the balance that will be displayed on the front of the card. So I'm going to change it from $13 to, let's say, $76.45 or so. And then you can adjust the currency, and then you can change the name on the card. So let's go and say, just for a basic name, let's do Bob's Card. I'll type it as that. There you go. So Bob's Card. And then when you're done editing that information, you hit Create. And as you can see, um, the phone will bring up this card. Act, it's basically tricking or th making the phone think that there is an actual pass and or card being added to Passbook. When in reality, it's not a functioning card. But anyway, yeah, um, when you hit create, you'll get this screen here add, um, asking if you would like to add this pass to your Passbook. As you can see, the information has been updated to the $76.45 balance, as well as the name on the card that I chose. So, when you want to add it, hit the Add button, and it'll jump it right down into the little collection down on the bottom of the screen. And if we go into Passbook here, you can see now that that pass, or card, uh, however you want to say it, pass or card, really doesn't matter, um, is now in your collection, which is pretty cool. And now another thing, you can't actually do it um, uh, using Pass Source uh, because it's not supported. But once Apple's payment service, um, I believe it's called Apple Pay, uh, is released, which I think it's going to release hopefully by the end of this month. But essentially, um, you'll be able to add a credit card and or debit card to Passbook and pay uh, using your card without actually needing to give the retailer your plastic version of your debit card and or credit card, which is pretty cool, to be honest. Um, and also, um, lastly, if you happen to have an iPhone 6 or a 6 Plus, uh, that Apple Pay service will also allow you to use the NFC chip built into the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. Uh, so you can purchase things by just swiping your phone by one of the little payment terminals next to the cash registers uh, at an, a counter of a retailer. So that's pretty cool. So 
essentially how that would work is you just would put your phone up to the payment terminal, put your uh, finger on the Touch ID sensor, it'll authorize it, and bam, there you go. So that's pretty cool, but anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, before I go, if you want to delete this pass or card and you don't want it on your phone anymore, just hit that little I button and it'll swip, uh, switch the card around. Hit the delete button and confirm that. And then you can see it deletes it and now it's gone. So pretty cool. Uh, Passbook has definitely come a long way since it was first, re um, first released with iOS 6 back in 2012, I believe. So, but yeah, Passbook's come a long way. Um, with the Apple Pay service, it's going to be a pretty nice, useful thing. So, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down there. Um, make sure to hit the like button as well. Helps out me uh, quite a lot. Let's me know that you guys are enjoying my videos. And also, if you guys need help or have any questions or comments, uh, leave those in the section below, and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. So, yes, once again, hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.